So let's see, we got Medved Coat Tracker. I'll show you that icon. This is the icon for uh, Coat Tracker. Uh, just installed Bracket Trader. I got Mail Enable. Let's go to Mail Enable now. I installed that on the computer. Open Programs. Open Mail Enable. You're going to open the Mail Enable Administrator and it's going to bring you to this here. Uh, following Bookster's uh, is the layout of what we're supposed to do here. You want to go to let's see what was it? Services. Let's see. Mail enable messenger. Messaging manager. Hit post offices. Click default. Click mailboxes. Right click it. You want to hit new. You want to hit a new mailbox. All right. It opens up there. The mailbox name. This, we're going to call it ATS. ATS. Password is ATS for automated trade system. And everything else is good. So you just hit apply. Hit OK. All right. The next step is you're going to be going down to the services pop. You should hit properties on this pop here. Properties on. You click right click pop properties you want to go to logging unclick all these apply okay we're good all right we're all set up there all right let's check out the active state pearl mail enables pretty much all set up except we got to make uh, all right ATS is there you can open this up look at it when you get an order sent uh, from Quote tracker, it's going to actually end up here in this message box. And uh, when you have the uh, the Perl script running, it's going to be it'll clear out all the the uh, messages in this mailbox until a new order is sent. Uh, uh, Perl, the uh, Perl script is uh, installed now. Hit return. All right, close this out. Done with that. Let's see where we are now. We installed the Active State Pro. You probably want to restart your computer. Okay, we have uh, Interactive Brokers is installed. We installed Bracket Trader. Um, we need to install uh, Boosters ATS Pro Script. So you just go up to the uh, the link up here. Click on that. You're going to get this file here. Um, let's see. Let's just go ahead and click it. Uh, go ahead and open it. All right. There's the Perl script. Now you can edit this. This is the uh, this is essential. You can let's see. Well, it's it's a, a zipped file, so you have to unpackage it. So you want to take it off of the uh, just move it off the screen out of the uh, file here. Put it on the desktop. It says, would you like to continue? Yes. I already have it installed, so I'm just going to do it again. So yes, yes to all. All right, now you have it on your desktop. You can edit this. Open with the notepad. It opens it up. You can go in here. You can change the default size for uh, ES, NQ, ER2, all of those. And this is basically just the coding that he did to make it work. So, and you want to have this uh, this ATS Perl script in the uh, Interactive Brokers JTS um, directory. My main hard drive is on a, a C drive. You may have two hard drives, and you may want to change this to D drive here. So, that's just one thing you may need to pay attention to. All right. So ATS is set up. Let's go to see what the next setup setup here is. We installed the script. All right. We want to see if we can get it running now. So you want to place it into the um, the C drive, like I said. So we're gonna go to my computer. 
you're gonna go to C drive I just uh, reinstalled Windows XP so everything's fresh on this computer um, JTS you can see I should have Bracket Trader is in this directory already um, we want to put the uh, the ATS in this directory so what we're gonna do is you can just drag just gonna drag this file and put it in the bracket trader directory alright open that up you see it's right there it's a PL file and it's in the uh, C drive alright now you wanna test it see if it works alright so let's see what does he say how do we do that okay just basically you can copy and paste this that'll work as long as you have it uh, everything installed on the C drive if, you, if it's not on a C drive you change it to a, a D drive or E drive whatever it is you wanna um, go to run you put in your the code I just copy and pasted hit OK um, go ahead and hit run it's gonna pop this up it's gonna say running every four seconds this if you don't get this setup working right here then uh, you're you better ask for help because that's the main part alright okay so now we're we're ready to open up quote tracker and see how these signals work out so I'm gonna double click on the quote tracker opening up code tracker now we're gonna set up an alert I'm gonna set it up on oh you know what since this is a new version of uh, code tracker I'm gonna go take uh, my backup that I made before I reformat my reformatted my hard drive and back it up so what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna go to file I'm gonna back up the uh, what is it backup settings no 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 it's uh fetched restore backups that's what it is all right it's going to go here restore from file or restore from folder okay i can go from a folder i guess and so uh, i actually have it in the computer go to c drive go to program files Where's it at? Quote tracker. Where's it at? Quote tracker is right there. Go to backups. See, it's got two files in here. I'm going to delete these and put in my old backup. Delete that. Yes. Okay. And I'm going to put my other backup in there now. It's the backup from the old. There we go. All right. So that backup's in there. Well, it's there. Okay. Select all. You want all that stuff. Restore. It's going to restore all that crap. It's going to upload this shit. Okay. It's restoring my old layout that I had and it's looking good now I got all my old symbols back up in there so I don't have to upload you know a whole bunch of new symbols that would take hours and I got all my custom indicators and stuff let's open up a chart here there's no data because uh, I haven't connected IB but I still if I double click this I still have all my old indicators and stuff so it's all still there. Okay, so we got Core Tracker up and running now. 